Good morning, Proverbs. Today is Tuesday, November 5th. My name is Cindy. These are your morning announcements. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. What are the counselors for? The counselors are for only your grades, moving schools, or just questions regarding your class. What is the principal's office for? The principal's office is only for an appointment with Dr. I, and the main office is for seniors who need discipline. Why do I need to go to the attendance office? The attendance office is only for leaving early, but you do need a note turned in before first period. If you're tardy, you must go get a pass and turn it in to your teacher. For absences, you have three days to clear them either by phone call or a note. Where do I go if I have questions about community service or college? If you have questions regarding college's state test and or community service, you can go to the College and Career Center that is located by the clock tower. Where do I go if I have a free period? If you have a free period or if you're wandering around campus, you go to the library. Let's see what's happening around campus. Congratulations to Edgar Vasquez for representing Migrant Ed Region 9, San Diego County, as the honor student. Edgar will be going to Santa Clara to represent and run for California State Honor Student. Congratulations to Maria Martinez Camacho for winning the state logo contest. Her logo will be on the brochure for the 40th State Migrant Parent Conference this coming March 2020. Way to go, Fabric High Migrant Students. Congratulations to the Marching Band and Guard for bringing home two first place trophies recently from a field tournament at Mark Carmel High School. Wish them well on November 9th when the team goes to Chula Vista for another competition. All through November, go to the Wellness Center door to read about weekly topics on the importance of breakfast. The Wellness Center continues its lunchtime workshops. Stop in November 5th to hear about diabetes and hypertension. And on November 12th, the series ends with legal health care rights for adolescents. Don't miss out on an opportunity to learn more about health care and health rights. Students, are you missing your ID? Did you get an ID? Well, listen up, the machine is all set up for your ID cards. Students can come to the ASB window before school starts, during nutrition, or at lunch. If you never received an ID this year, you get one for free, but you need to bring a copy of your schedule with you. If you lost your ID card, all you need to do is come to the window when it is open with $5 to cover the cost of a replacement. Grad Bash tickets are currently on sale. This year, the seniors are going to Universal Studios on May 29th. Tickets are $160 and can be reserved with a $50 deposit. The first 50 seats are guaranteed, so students should purchase them early. Go to the ASB window today. Grad Bash. If you haven't already, pick up this year's first issue of the Tomahawk. My Grenade Seniors, please go to Senior Workshops in Room 118, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3 to 5 p.m. through November 14th to get help with the FAFSA, scholarships, and college applications. Our second blood drive is scheduled for this Friday in the old gym. We will be accepting donations from 7.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. All students who donate four pints are eligible to wear a red cord at graduation. Save a life, give blood. Now let's see what's going on in the world of college and career. FAFSA stands for Free Application for Federal Student Aid. Every college-bound student needs to complete the FAFSA. Do you need help? Come to the College and Career Center. Make an appointment with Ms. Kane. Receive free money. The Palomar Promise is back, offering free college for first-time, full-time college students. Free tuition, free parking, textbook assistance, priority enrollment. Stop by the College and Career Center if you have any questions. If you are applying to college, you're probably using the Common App. Go to the College and Career Center and see Ms. Kane for help. Make sure your letters of recommendation, transcripts, evaluations, and school reports are properly attached and submitted with your application.
I joined wrestling because it's one of the hardest sports out there, and your mistakes are yours alone. You can't blame the team on you for losing. The part that's fun about wrestling is how hard it is. You know, after every practice you feel stronger as a person. Girls and boys basketball tryouts are on November 9th. Make sure you have your paperwork completed before that date. Now it's time for your sports calendar. That's all for today. Stay awesome, Falberg.